Now depending on a company's accounts, there are a series of adjustments that need to be made. These adjustments can be separated into two main categories. Those two categories are deferrals and accruals. What are deferrals? Well, deferrals are items that result from prepayments. These are prepayments that either the company has made, meaning perhaps they have paid in advance for an insurance policy or for six months' rent, so payments that the company has made, or prepayments that the company has received. So, for example, when a customer pays in advance of the company performing a service. So if you're a lawn care uh, company and a customer says, you know what, I'm going to prepay for the next two months of you cutting my lawn, that would be an example of a prepayment the company has received. So specific deferral examples would be prepaid expenses. The, there again, the example being of prepaid rent or insurance. Depreciation expense, which really falls under prepaid expenses. We'll talk more about that one. And then unearned revenues, which we saw in the last chapter, which again results from a customer paying in advance of receiving the service. According to the generally accepted accounting principles, we cannot recognize that revenue as earned until we perform the service. Therefore, we classify it as a liability called unearned revenue. Now, at, if a company has these three items at the end of the accounting period, they have to look and see, okay, have I uh, now used any of the items I've prepaid for? Maybe I paid for six months of rent and I've already used one. Therefore, we're going to have to do an adjustment to transfer the amount of the asset that has been used. So that's a prepaid example, an example of a prepaid expense adjustment. Depreciation expense, if the company has an asset, Every year, every accounting period, they're going to have to move some of that asset over to an expense account just to follow that matching principle of matching the expenses in the period in which you generate revenue. And then finally, unearned revenues. If we've earned any of that customer's prepayment at the end of the accounting period, we're going to have to move it out of a liability account and into a revenue account. So I have some examples of those journal entries, what they would look like. So you can see here the example of the prepaid expense. We decrease the asset, we increase the expense because we're using up the asset that we've prepaid and now move it to an expense. It's no longer an asset if we've used it. Depreciation expense, again to follow that matching principle. So we go ahead and allocate a portion of, that, of the cost of that asset to the income statement by putting it in the depreciation expense account. And then we put the offset account is called accumulated depreciation. This is a new account in this chapter that is a contra asset account. So you'll want to read more about that one to understand it a little better in your book. And then finally we have the journal entry to record any unearned revenue that has now been earned. We decrease the liability with a debit and we increase revenue with a credit. So these are examples of the journal entries you would do at the end of the accounting period if a company had any of these types of items that need adjustments.